Hi, this is James Gardner, the Senior Tech Geek, and it's been a long time between videos, but the, the crisis has been causing you know everyone a lot of problems. Keeping our small cinemas above water is, is taking a lot of my time, but I have been putting a lot of time into some tools to try and help cinemas and um, smaller cinemas especially survive the changing conditions going forward. And during that time, I've you know I've got some tools which I'm going to be um, releasing to, to for free use in the coming months. But part of that is developing uh, API and automation systems. And today I want to show you or give some code to the community. For example, if they wanted to try and do some of their own automations or write their own tools um, specifically for these, uh, this one's for NEC uh, DCI projectors, that they you've got some code to get them going and and. To play with so let's get into it and showing you how it works okay so here you go um, if you um, want to find the tool it's on my github repository or, um, or github account if you just look and uh, do a google search for NEC dash DCI dash projector dash control dash API you should find this page and if you come down and you read about the the tool and um, what it's what it does and what projectors it can control and what commands I've supported in this um, initial release. This is really a, a, a me playing myself, um, getting ready to write some of these controls into some of my own automation tools that I would use on my own cinemas. Um, so I'm just sharing that with everyone because they may want to try and write some of their own tools or have a bit of a play themselves. So um, let's have a quick look. So if you're going to play with these tools and you're on a Windows system like I'm develop, um, recording this on now, um, I really recommend installing um, WSL Windows Subsystem for Linux. Um, and if you do that, uh, there's lots of YouTubes on how to, to do that. You'll get a like a, I've installed, installed Ubuntu and I've got a Ubuntu icon here. If I click that, I get a Ubuntu window here in the end and you know, I've got my command prompt and everything. Now you will need to um, install a few extra tools if they're not by, there by default. That would be um, git Python th and Python 3 basically, right? Um, now they're already installed so nothing happened. But uh, once they are installed, um, and we're going to go to a, a directory I may call play because we're going to put the files in there. We're going to go git clone and we need to get a copy of the, the, the git URL and you click on the code and you've got the URL and you just click here and it copies it to your buffer and then you paste it in here. This will pull down that repo. This is how you know you develop software if you're using GitHub, um, but we're just using it to get access to the to the software. Now, once that's happened, we can go into the directory, and you'll see there's actually the files which are basically exactly the same here, and the command we want in command, and you'll see ls or ls to list the files. There it is. There, any sam called command.py. Now, if we just run that, it'll come up with um, you know the use how to use it and all the commands. So we want to basically um, power status, right? Now copy and paste, oh, oops. I copy the wrong thing. Now we want to give the IP to my little projector over the other side, my test projector. And there you go, it came back with the, the power status of the projector. Now you can also obviously you've got um, power on, power off, uh, version data request and some other commands here, but you know, lamp on, lamp off, and you've got also you can change the channel if you want or query what channel you want of the projector with playing all, with all those commands there. So you can give it a play and, and if you really want to, you can start looking at the code. I'll just quickly um, show it to you here. Um, it, it's pretty stock Python. Uh, but it's it's a this is a binary protocol to the projector, so it was a bit of a bugger to get going. But once you sort of get my head, head head around sending all the binary codes based on the API documentation, from this you can pretty much uh, implement anything you want. Or the the API documentation is there. You could expand it if you want to do some more interesting uh, things if you need to. Anyway, that's James Gardner. Um, Yes, that's James Garden, Cintec Geek, and I hope you enjoyed this little quick video on something really geeky if you are a cinema owner and like to automate your cinemas. Bye for now.